Well, that's just great. I was about to make a bed, too. <sighs> well, I'm gonna stay up all night now. Hello there, Blood Moon. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Sky Factory V. And this is actually Sky Factory V currently in progress for 1.1. Yeah, just that, just as I thought, the blood moon prevents us from going to sleep. Well, or prevents me from going to sleep. So you're probably wondering what happened to all the trees. Well, I haven't planted them yet. Also, I made a new hammer to break down the, uh, the cobblestone into gravel, sand, and dust. Actually, while the blood moon's going on, I guess I can show that off pretty quickly. So, I'm going to now be turning gravel into its components, which will then go in here. Now for the sand. Huh. I was, I was expecting something, at least. Wait, can you... So, I've noticed the percentage dirt is way more efficient with the string mesh than sand, gravel, and dust. So... Alright, let's see if I can get anything from dust. Oh, I got something from dust. Skystone dust. I'll put that here. And I can check that off the achievement list. Alright, so... As you can see on the right hand side, underneath the birch forest, the biome I'm currently in, there's a little tiny itty bitty addition to it, which is one of the things I'm adding for the 1.1 version. It is the season HUD, that way I don't have to go all the way here and type in cal and can't even spell it right. There we go, calendar, and have it show me the day. Another thing I added, which is kind of hilarious when you're playing with slabs, I added the sit mod into Minecraft. Well, not Minecraft, uh, Sky Factory V. It's basically just like sitting on a, like a, uh, mount just without the health bars. I forgot to mob proof the roof of the house, which is also another achievement. Finally got it done. Hmm. Must have left. Anyway, I was talking about like the gravel, the sand, dust. Oh right, one of the one of the mods I wanted to show you. But first, I saved these away for like a rainy day, because my entire source of income, well not income, uh, food is based on apples. So why not make an apple tree? Hey, Blood Moon. Bye. There we go. And now, I may begin planting all the other trees. And there we go. Oh, wait. I was not expecting that. Okay. What was I saying? All right. Um, let's see. One of the mods I installed. You saplings go in there. And I will make some crooks. Now, yep. This saves me a lot of time. 
I have added vein miner, or well, actually, it's called not vein miner. It's called ore excavation to this mod pack. It really helps out. Makes it a lot less ha of a hassle trying to get all the saplings harvested, like climbing up all the trees. Oh, oh shoot. It does, however, destroy your hunger bar. So you gotta have food on you. Fair warning. And quite a lot of crooks when you're trying to collect leaves. Ooh. Okay, note to self, keep apple trees away from all the other trees. Oh, and now it's raining. Oh, nope, 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 nope. I, I saw it, I saw it. And the logs are much easier to get now. Just have to hold down one button while clicking. And no, I didn't do it to shift. It was set to R for me. So as for my house, as you saw, there's just a bed here. But beyond, there's room for more, like, expansion of the island. And uh, I, I did promise to go over some of the uh, other stuff, so another one, which I am not going to demonstrate because, well, it's just better to say it instead of demonstrate. I have added the gravestone mod into 1.1 version, and it's not because I fell off the edge, it's because... Well, I don't want to put Forgiving Void on because that seems a little too merciful. You fall into the void, you di you will di die. That's just an aspect of it. You gotta get over it. Oh, and uh, some other ones are the uh, the note chat report, the JEP. For professions, ah, there it is, professions. It shows exactly what they need, but I'm pretty sure, like, the, like, the just enough resources kind of covers the, uh, the JEP with the point of interest right here. So, hmm, might consider removing that, possibly. Oh, and uh, one thing I can actually show you, if we go to statistics, I got better statistics screen on Sky Factory V. So now you can see just about everything you've done. I have died 11 times. Okay. There are some things you don't need to know. But there's some other things, like right here, the cosmetic armor, where you can hide stuff. So you can put armor on, and your skin will still be showing. So, little... Little minor improvements. And then there's some major ones, like some ones I should have added earlier, but... I guess I forgot, or something. I can now demonstrate. See? I am wearing the leather pants, but it doesn't show on my skin. So I got armor. You know what? I'm gonna try and sleep in my bed now. You will not burn down my base. You hear me, lightning? You will not. Uh, let's see, what else did I add? Oh! How do I uh, undo it now? So I added the carry on mod. I do not know how to undo it. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm not. I'm not gonna do that on chests like that. Yeah. 
Yeah, that may have been a mistake. Okay. Don't try that again. Oh. I am adding another chapter to the ones I've already got. So, there's now, instead of just the, uh, the three I showed you earlier on, the wood, stone, and farming, there is now exploration. So there's an entire new chapter for you to look through. This one covers the dimensions, and one of the new mods I actually haven't shown you off yet. So if you click the button here, and look at this. I added portal guns. Not just any portal guns. Granted, there's a bit of lag when using this, but this is a portal gun that travels or takes a person to a different dimension if they want. Not just for one place or another, just different dimensions. If you don't have another portal, if you don't have another portal, boom, just make this downside. You need netherite. So go to the nether before you make this. Because I doubt you're getting it out of a loot chest anytime soon. Wait, hold on. I mean, I kind of expected this, but... Dang, that is cool. Can't wait to try mystic ag agriculture in the future. That is... Okay, that is something. Smelting, blasting... Yeah, we get it. There's three kinds. The regular one that you all know and love. The golden one. And then there's uh, the prime one. So, you need portal, fluid bottle. There's also this, which you can get from thick potions. It's just a bunch of brewing stuff. A bunch of different complications. Point is, this mod allows you to travel between dimensions, which will make the... Uh, the exploration age chapter very interesting to say the least let's see which ones did I not go over oh yes uh, one last one you might have seen a preview of it um, but I'm gonna save that for another rainy day or a different rainy day. For now, um, oh, that's what I was gonna think of doing. I'm going to mark off another Stone Age achievement, build a platform to house the chickens. Because they are not laying any eggs, and I do not think they like the the half slab floor there you've been on. How did you get out? Oh. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. That could have been bad. That could have been bad. Alright, hold on. Let me lure you over here. This way, chicken. This way. Into the pen with you. Into the pen. Hey, no, 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 no. Get over here. You, over here. In here. In, in here. There we go. Over to this side. You. Haha. -ha. I gotta make a pen that's bigger, because I do not think they're gonna last much longer without going out of that little cage there and walking off the edge because I really want to start with the uh... with the resource chickens mod I want to test the waters with that no yeah with this mod 
I can't do that while they're your they are cooped up in there. What else is new? Anyway. I'm gonna build out this platform a bit and see you then. Dirt, but right now, dirt is not a good viable source and or option, so we're gonna use this. These. Grass seeds. Which, for those of you who don't know, are used to get grass blocks in Sky Factory because you don't have access to grass blocks in Sky Factory. Because all you're given is dirt. Oh. Wait. I haven't seen this one. Oh, I'm not even gonna see this one. It's a new moon. That's stupid. So the blood moon's red. There's the blue moon, which I'm pretty sure you've seen some clips of. I've shown you. And then there's this one, which is part of the, the uh, I think the celestial moons mod that is in Sky Factory V. That's just upsetting. That right there is just upsetting. I don't even get to see the moon. Don't even get to see the moon. Alright. That's upsetting. But anyway, with the mysterious harvest moon in the air that I'm clearly not able to see, I'm gonna end it here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of Sky Factory V. And if you have, please show your support and hit that like button down below. This is Golden Gem, and I will see you next week.